something crazy just got announced by Fujifilm. And no, I'm not talking about the X-E4, I'm not talking about the 100S, I'm talking about the X100V. And I'm talking about the firmware update 2.0 because Fujifilm is finally, finally, finally bringing it to us. They're bringing us a feature that people have been asking for since before the X100V even got released. People wanted it on this camera so bad because they knew the functional purposes of it and they hadn't even held the camera yet. Yes, Fujifilm is finally, finally bringing the built-in ND filter to video. And this is crazy. This is insane. This is almost game-changing. If you're considering buying the X100V, okay, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit too much, but you guys know what I mean. If you're considering buying the X100V, but you're kind of shying away because it's video capabilities, don't. This is an even more compelling reason for you guys to think of the Fujifilm X100V as a perfect travel camera perfect travel hybrid camera. So let's get into it. Why is this so big? Why is this so important? And why am I making such a big deal out of it? So the reason being is that we've always had the built-in ND filter for photo mode, for stills. We could use an ND filter and effectively the X100V has a built-in four stop ND filter. That means you can kind of reduce four stops of light from entering your camera. So this is great, especially if you know how to use an ND filter. It's like putting sunglasses in front of your camera. We have several different ways of controlling light. We have aperture, shutter speed, and ISO, right? That's the exposure your triangle and then we can also toss on an ND filter if we are shooting in things like aperture priority mode and we can't afford to bring the aperture up to reduce the light so in effect we would roll on a filter on and then that would reduce the light or with X100V you just press a button and this would reduce the amount of light coming into your camera so you can shoot in aperture priority mode or something like that and then still get a perfectly exposed image. Does that make sense? It always lacked this feature in video and this was a problem that made it like very iffy as a hybrid camera. You guys know that I praise the X100V as a great video camera, but this feature, this firmware update will only make it an even better video camera because it brings one of the things to the X100V that other cameras in the Fujifilm lineup doesn't have. Now, if the X100V had IBIS 2, that'd be crazy, but it can already shoot 4K 30 down res from 6K, so it's DCI, which makes amazing image quality. It already has Eterna, F-Log, etc., and it can externally record up to 10-bit 422 ProRes onto something like the Atmos Ninja 5. Now, in such a small camera that looks like a harmless photographer's camera, these are insane video features. Especially with the 120 frames per second in slow motion that you can shoot in 1080p, you can do a lot of things with this camera as a hybrid camera. And now, so why is this important in video? Because we get why it works in stills mode, but why do we need a built-in ND filter for video? A general rule of thumb is that when you are shooting video, you want your shutter speed to be double the frame rate of whatever you know video you are shooting in. So if I was shooting 1080p, or like 60 frames per second, I would want my shutter speed to be 1 1 20th. If I was shooting 4K 24 frames per second, I would want my shutter speed to be 1 1 48th. This will give you a natural like movement to your video because if you shoot at shutter speeds that don't match up with this kind of rule, weird things can start happening to your video. You might get blurry motion, you might get overly smooth, unrealistic motion. So that means by nature, we are always shooting in shutter priority mode whenever we're shooting in video. Now, what if we want to shoot F2 because everyone wants to shoot F2 with this lens. It's a great lens and it's very sharp at F2, but if we're shooting on a bright day, a sunny day, and we have to much light going into our camera we can't afford to shoot at you know shutter priority mode and at f2 because it would just be too bright so this brings on the additions of ND filters. Like if we had a variable ND filter, which you guys know I use, uh, that is probably honestly our best option because then depending on the day, we can use different settings of that variable ND filter. Uh, we're not limited to a certain, you know, individual stop. So it's still useful for all applications if you want to buy a variable ND filter. But now since the X100V is getting a built-in ND filter for video, you don't have to carry it around. You don't have to screw it on. You don't have to to deal with the physical applications of putting an ND filter on. You can just press a button and bam, you get a four stop ND filter. And then if it's too dark, you can compensate a little bit with ISO. So that's the great thing about firmware update 2.0. Now there's a bunch of other stuff happening in there. I'm only really gonna talk about the ND filter stuff because I think that is the craziest part coming to the X100V. It actually levels up the X100V as such a hybrid camera. You guys know I praise the video capabilities on this camera, 
but now they're only even getting better. So if you have the X100V, there's this is something to be excited about. Even if you don't shoot in video mode, now you might have more of a reason to, right? And if you don't have the X100V, like literally none of the other Fujifilm cameras have built-in ND filters for both stills and videos. So it makes the X100V stand out even more compared to the other cameras in the lineup. So this is an awesome, awesome update. I think it's coming sometime around the end of February. I'm not entirely sure the exact release date. I don't think they released that yet, but this is something to look forward to, something to be excited about. That's pretty much all the time I'm gonna take out of your day today. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, please do like and subscribe. If you're interested in the Fujifilm X100V, you'll be happy to know that I talk a lot, a lot about this camera on this channel. So like and subscribe if you're interested in more videos and I will see you guys in another video. Peace.